gonna be sharing with you some progress we've had in our preclinical and clinical development for our biological drug candidate, SDP4, for use in treating the signs and symptoms of dry eye disease. SDP4 offers a novel biotherapeutic approach that uses a naturally derived silk protein to treat dry eye disease through a dual mechan mechanism of action. The product inhibits the activation of NF-kappa-B gene transcription pathway, which reduces the production of known pro-inflammatory dry eye mediators. In addition, SDP4's inherent protein nature allows it to act like mucin by enhancing the spreading and wetting properties of an impaired ocular epithelial surface. Worldwide, it's estimated that over 340 million people suffer from dry eye. 15 million here are diagnosed in the US with over 40 million undiagnosed represents a significant treatment challenge to clinicians. Dry eye is a multifactorial disease state that affects the various tissues composing the ocular surface and is cyclical in nature in which an irritation event drives inflammation that destabilizes the tear film over time and worsens patient's symptoms. Current therapies are effective for treating subsets of the dry eye patient population, but do not address the multifactorial attributes of the disease by simultaneously stabilizing the tear film with a protein while inhibiting inflammation like STP4 is designed to do. One known biological driver of dry eye inflammation is overactivation of the NF-kappa B signaling pathway, which is, which is a unique therapeutic target because it's implicated in multiple ocular surface st structures, including the corneal and conjunctival epithelium, goblet cells, and both the meibomian and lacrimal glands. Inflammation taking place in any of these tissues will work to destabilize the tear film. Examples of this include myobium gland dysfunction, which can increase tear evaporation rate, lacrimal gland dysfunction, which can reduce tear volume secretions, and dysregulation of mucin production that reduces the tear film's ability to protect the ocular surface. When compromised, the tear film may form pits that leave portions of the ocular surface uncovered or become hypertonic and unhealthy in composition. In, in both cases, the corneal surface becomes further exposed to initiating effects that can drive the inflammation cycle promote immune cell recruitment, and further exacerbate patient's symptoms. NF-kappa B activation is known to play a role in dry eye as the pathway can be stimulated through a number of different cell signaling mechanisms. Signaling antagonists include numerous growth factors, microbial byproducts, multiple cytokines, and UV radiation. When activated, the NF-kappa B transcription factor enters the cell nucleus and drives production of additional inflammatory mediators, such as MMP9, various interleukin cytokines, and TNF-alpha. SDP4 works intracellularly to inhibit the I-kappa B kinase, which activates the NF-kappa B transcription factor. Therefore, it prevents NF-kappa B from entering the cell nucleus and driving pro-inflammatory mediator production. SDP4's biotherapeutic activity has been demonstrated in preclinical studies where results have shown an eight-fold reduction of MMP9 presence within inflamed rabbit corneas in vivo, and significant reductions in both dry eye disease-related inflammatory gene transcription and immune cell activation in relevant human corneal in vitro models. Potency bioassay results have demonstrated that STP4 reduces NF-kappa B activity dose-dependently by over 20-fold when compared to controls, and we see a maximal dose response around 1%. In vivo, Preclinical safety data has indicated that STP4 is well-tolerated both in the ocular environment and also systemically, and it has a uh, very fast clearance rate from the blood supply with a half-life of less than 30 minutes. In this video, the mucin-like protein nature of STP4 is demonstrated by comparing the spreading properties of saline versus saline plus or STP4 molecule. And this is on a hydrophobic wax surface that models a dry epithelium. What you see is that STP4 at a 1% concentration acts to reduce the interfacial tension between the aqueous droplet and the hydrophobic surface by enhancing wetting properties upon application without increasing the viscosity. The intention of this design is to improve tear film stability in dry eye disease patients to enhance their comfort while not compromising their vision quality. SDP4 is highly soluble in water while having an intrinsically disordered structure which allows it to be uptake by the cells. The protein has an average molecular weight around 20,000 Daltons and is composed of repeating peptide sequences which have been designed to optimally inhibit inflammation while remaining stable in formulation. The technology is patent protected with issued broad composition of matter claims that have a lifespan through 2037. Because of SDP4's unique solubility properties, the eyedrop formulation is all aqueous, preservative-free, and shelf-stable at room temperature. 
In addition, due to the readily available raw material source and inherent water solubility of SDP4, the eye drop product is inexpensive to produce and on par with small synthetic chemistries. Finally, STP4's favorable safety profile greatly reduces the risk of side effects. SilkTech recently had a pre-IND meeting with the FDA and is on track for an IND submission in Q1 of 2019. The company plans to begin a phase 2B clinical trial shortly after that to assess the safety and efficacy of STP4 in treating the signs and symptoms of dry eye. The company hopes to receive top-line results of this study by Q1 of 2020. If you have further questions with, with regards to STP4 or Silk Technologies, please feel free to speak to me here at OIS, or you can email me at info at silk-tech.com. Thank you for your attention, and have a productive meeting. Thank you.